Hello, Robert here from European Watch Company in Boston. And today I wanted to talk about uh, one of my favorite watches of all time. This is the Jaeger Le Coultre Reverso. The Reverso was designed back in 1930. Uh, it was released in 1931. And it was a watch that was brought on by gentlemen wishing to wear something while they played polo. Um, and in order to meet that request, what they decided to do was create a watch where the case can be flipped and then the stainless steel back of the case would protect the glass while uh, the wearer was playing in a polo match. Um, the design does have a lot of art deco elements to it. You have these great kind of stripes at the top and bottom of it. You have the angular lugs to it. Um, and it's a watch that if you look at the original ones from the 30s and the 40s, which we have been fortunate to see here in the store, it has not changed other than the sizes and, you know, obviously dials and complications getting better. But the overall design of the movement and the function of that flipping case has not changed. So I do have one here today that is what most people think of with a Reverso. It is a beautiful white guilloche dial, uh, black Arabic numerals, and the blued steel hands. And then they've done a lot of interesting interpretations of this watch over the years. We have here kind of one that you don't see very often. This is the second Centrale uh, from the 1931 series. And this is cased in white gold, features an automatic movement, which is very rare for reversos, and has that central seconds. Uh, this one with the black dial and the elongated indices, I think, uh, further leans into that Art Deco feel and look and really creates a nice reverso and something that you won't see very often. And then lastly, to show kind of one of the more modern interpretations, we have a duo face. So today, obviously, many people probably not playing polo while wearing a reverso. Maybe you do, but probably not. So instead of just having a stainless steel case back on these, they have now gone to include a second face. So it's almost like buying two watches in one. Uh, also capable of setting the two sides to different time zones. So you have a GMT travel watch as well, where you can have your local time and your home time. This one also uh, going one step further and including the day, date, month, and moon phase for a traditional kind of triple calendar layout. As with many watches from Jaeger, the devil really is in the details. Uh, even on the simple kind of basic reverso, you do get a beautiful guilloche pattern in the center. Um, the blued steel hands are always a nice touch and uh, complement these watches very nicely. When you move to some of these other ones where they don't necessarily have the guilloche, they do add a very nice kind of powdered finish on this side that when it catches the light is really beautiful. The other side does feature a very fine guilloche along with that day-night indication as well. Reversos are kind of an interesting watch in that they are pretty much dead flat on the bottom. And so a lot of people look at the size of reversos and think, oh man, that's a tiny watch. You know, if you look at the medium size, some of those I think are only 27 millimeters across, and that's like the smallest ladies Rolex. However, on a square watch, it's a very different feel on the wrist. And while this is the large, um, even the medium can still fill out a gentleman's wrist and look appropriate, you know, for today's tastes and standards. So JLC leaning into what they do best um, in a timeless watch that I appreciated from the first time I saw it.